And that's not to say that people are not happy because there are a lot of happy people on social media, but you don't know if they're happy or not, so don't compare yourselves to them. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Romani and I make videos about locks and lifestyle. Just like my previous video, this video is going to be an impromptu car chit chat because I have some time and I'm just gonna make it do what it do. You know, I usually like to have a whole production. I like to have like my notes and stuff, but I don't have any notes, um, but I just wanna talk to you. And I do have to drive in a minute, so it won't be a super long video. And if you're driving or you're doing something right now, just listen to this podcast style. You don't really have to sit and like look at me, but let's just get into it. I wanna talk about not allowing life to make you compare yourself to people. So to sum that all up, I wanna talk about comparison. I think that a lot of times we compare ourselves to people and we can kind of like blame social media, but we can't really blame social media because comparison was always around because people have always been saying comparison is the thief of joy. So comparison is nothing new. I do think that it has been heightened since we have been on social media like for about a decade or so now and obviously that's just because you can see what everybody's doing and everybody's posting exactly what they want you to see so if they got a new bag if they got a new boyfriend if they got a new home if they have a new baby they're posting these things and you're seeing it and you're taking it all in and as humans i think that we naturally compare our lives like we're like, oh, I'm not doing that. This person is doing that. Like we just naturally compare ourselves and it puts us in a really negative headspace. And what I realized a few years ago was like, you don't know what people are going through. Like I used to follow this person and she was like popping on the internet boyfriend was always buying her bags and stuff. And then it kind of like came out that her boyfriend was cheating on her. And that's just, it was like crazy for me to fathom because they were always posting like such happy things. He was always like buying her things, flying her out. So it was such a crazy thing for me to fathom. But once that happened, I started to realize like, okay, you really don't know what people are going through. Like things can look so amazing on the internet and not be what it is in real life. And that's not to say that people are not happy because there are a lot of happy people on social media, but you don't know if they're happy or not. So don't compare yourselves to them. When you compare yourself to people, you kind of like disrespect all the good that's happening in your life. And I guess I don't wanna say like disrespect, but you kind of just throw it by the wayside. Like you don't really relish in all of your accomplishments and all of the things that you have. Like you don't give gratitude for what you have because you're panning after something that somebody else has, which may not even be for you and may not even be something that you want. Let's get into that. A lot of times you think that you want something and then when you get that thing, it's not even what you thought it was about to be. And now you're like, dang, everything that glitters is not gold. So like stop wanting something that somebody else has because one, you don't know what it took them to get that. And two, you might not even really want that thing. Like, I feel like sometimes it's also easy for people to compare themselves when they don't even want the thing that they're comparing themselves about. So let's say somebody just got a new job in tech and they post it on TikTok or they post it on Instagram and now you're in your feelings about it. And it's okay to be in your feelings because being in your feelings is normal. We are human. You're going to experience all the feels and all of the emotions. But somebody posted that they have a new job in tech and now you're in your feels about it when you've never wanted to work in tech in your entire life like what's that about and now you have all of these bad feelings towards this person or towards this profession when this isn't even something that you wanted to go into you want to be a professional dancer and you're mad that somebody is having a new job in tech like we really have to make it make sense we have to focus on what we're doing we have to focus on our own plates and what we're eating because 
what somebody else is doing has nothing to do with us. If somebody else succeeds, that just shows you that it's possible for you. That doesn't take anything away from you. And like years ago, when I used to operate out of my ego, and my ego does still creep up, like I don't wanna act like I'm just this heightened, you know, <laughs> enlightened person, but I'm working towards it. And so when I, like a few years ago, when I used to operate heavily in my ego, like an everyday thing, I used to feel very threatened by other people's success. And when I think back on it, it is very cringy because I'm like, girl, why wouldn't you just be happy for these people? But no, if somebody would post something, I would feel some type of way. And I was still like extremely successful, especially for my age. I was doing all the things. And I know that people felt like, shit, they might've been en envious of me, but I wasn't even thinking about all that I had. If somebody posted something, regardless of if I wanted to do it or not, I would probably be upset. And that's very, you know, vulnerable. And, you know, for me to say on here, because like, you don't want anybody thinking that you're an envious person, but like, I mean, I'm not anymore. So I can speak freely about it because that's like a past version of myself. But yes, I used to have all the feels when people would like post certain things. And now, those things just give me motivation if i see a woman succeeding i know that it is possible for me to succeed like i know that it's possible for me to not only do that thing but even go further than how far she's gone like that gives me motivation it lets me know that i am able to do it and i can inspire and motivate other women to do it i think that i'm gonna make another video about this topic because i am just speaking so freely i feel like i'm very passionate about this topic because i know know that like when you hone in on what you do have and when you're grateful for what you do have things just multiply and even if they don't multiply you are like you're happy so it doesn't even matter if you get more if you have less like you're just happy but nonetheless I am looking at the clock and your girl gotta go so I hope that you have an amazing week no matter when you're watching this have an amazing week haven't have why can't i never why can't i ever talk have an amazing day remember to keep your focus on you stop worrying about what everybody else is doing because when you worry about what other people are doing you're always two steps behind because they're always in front of you because you're always trying to play catch up so worry about yourself make sure you like this video subscribe comment share it to a friend so we can just spread the good message i'm gonna leave everything that you need in the description box and i will see you in my next video